Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The altitude not the only thing that's elevated, so too the intensity for this great matchup in the Mountain West. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Anderson is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. Low from the eight. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Lowe's the guy that we saw Thursday as soon as we got here, Herbie, and it was on his way to class, and he can barely make it because he's such a star on this campus. Yeah, it's a tough life when you're out there signing autographs <laughs> on the way to class, but he deserves it. He's a, he's a big-time playmaker. This offense finds ways to get him to football, and you know that they're going to do the same thing today. They're going to try to find different ways to move him around within the alignment of this offense, try to get him isolated, and if they do, look out. Here comes some big play. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pick up there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second and five. Ball on their own 35. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. The Vandals always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 40. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. the 40 yard line first down there's a strike complete and they make the stop at the 31 yard line that'll make it second and inches And off up the middle, and he's stuck. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have played fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. First and 10. Ball on the 14. And down he goes at the 5. And this play is number eight on the drive. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Watch 19, watch 19. Fires out 
quickly to the tail man. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 71-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. Johnson from the two. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires that quickly incomplete. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to try that time. Second and 10. Ball on their own 32. Completely stopped immediately. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it third and three. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. Fourth down. Cantrell awaits the snap. Williams takes it the 21. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Idaho up seven points. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll make it second and four. Two times, two times. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 46-yard line, first down. Feeds it to the back. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. I'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. So at the end of one, Idaho leads it 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. 
Idaho is up seven. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's out to the 30. Tackle at about the 35. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. Touchdown, defense. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Morris is the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Cantrell to punt. He's tackled at the 46 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Idaho is up a score. Here we go. Way 90. He's scrambling. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 30 to the 20. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 14-yard line. see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Nice run there. Barnes gets six yards on the play. That'll bring up second and three. He's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Ball inside the 10-yard line. It's third down. Slings it. Touchdown, Idaho! positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 54-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 14-0. Bennett has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. What a collision! So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Yeah. 
He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Caught and he's brought down quickly. Taylor picks up seven yards with that catch. That makes it 37. Well, the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Idaho's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 50 he's on the run they bring him down sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack that's what happened there Great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Quick pass. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Ryan is waiting for the snap. It's away. Short punt. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Just throws this one away. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And he 
tackles him hard. It's the 48-yard line. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground, and he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. Almost picked off. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. Idaho's lead is two touchdowns. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I defenses they, they have to be a little bit upset right now and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder how about when you're tackling use the strip stick you know be able to strip the ball out get the ball out try to get some interceptions try to make some user picks you know do whatever you can to try to get the football back in that offense and set your offense up in good field position that's it for us here in the studio what are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on yeah i'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. Right down at the 29. Vandals continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Strike to his receiver, no good. Taylor was intended to receive on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 47. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a gain of four on that play. That makes it second and six. Mike 41, Mike 41. And down he goes at the 35. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. They make the stop at the 27. That makes it second and two. All day, just like that, just like that. Mike 41. Quick, quick, quick. Quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 18-yard line. At the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down. That's a game of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. 
Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Now he pitches it. Touchdown, Utah State! Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 42. They're set to go for another round. Idaho is up by a touchdown. And he is drilled at the 48. That's a game of 10. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 38. Around the 40-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 40-yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, first down. Taken down around the 26 yard line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Idaho up seven points. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. And he might want it all here, and does! He'll take it all away for the touchdown. He passes for his third touchdown of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. On the ground, right side. Nice run to the outside. That brings him second and five. Feeds it to the back. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Make it 
He's scrambling. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. 41's coming. 41's a bike. Run left side. Tackle at the 36. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Twist, watch the twist. Mike 41, Mike 41. Here's a running play. Gets out to around the 25. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Graham gets another handoff. He fights forward to about the 23. That'll make it second and seven. From the 23 yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 16 yard line. Seven yards. That'll make it third and one. Here he goes. The five. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Rose complete touchdown. converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. So the Aggies have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Idaho is up a score. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, kill. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He takes off. Brought down at about the 45. So at the end of the third quarter, Idaho leads it 21-14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Anderson, left side. And he's level at the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Now he's scrambling. And they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. Three yards. Third down. Right, 
Got it and brought down immediately. That'll make it fourth and two. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Idaho is up seven. Barnes on the toss. Runs outside for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Side right, side right. Four down, four down. Watch number 12, watch number 12. Go. Let's go, let's go. Mike, number 53, Mike 53. yardage on that run. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards to carry. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's gobbled up in the backfield. More plays like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 18-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Barnes gets about four yards on the play. Utah State's out of timeouts. This is the 11th play of this drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He fights forward to about the 13. That's good for a game of one yard. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it's good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Yellow Jackets were ranked 18th. After that face plan, they'll be lucky to be ranked at all next week. And for Virginia Tech, today's win gives them eight on the season. The Hokies get the W, 24-21. You can feel the shock waves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. They line up to kick this one away. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Here's a strike complete. He's down. That's a gain of five on the play. Mike 41. That'll make it 35. They'll spread the field with five wide. Going deep. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Oh, so close to breaking it. Under a minute left. The spike will stop the clock. 
that makes it second and ten. From the 29-yard line, second down. He zips it out to the left. Incomplete pass. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. That brings up third and ten. He goes out of bounds around the 23 yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances, they just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.